even if you don't like cycling, if you know what the Tour de France is, if you know it's grueling. 3,300 kilometers, day after day, real mixture of terrain. We've got the mountains, we've got the Alps, the Pyrenees, we got the cobbles in northern France. It is pretty immense. You see the professionals suffering. We're trying to emulate them by doing every single mile and at the same time raising money and awareness for a great cause. I was diagnosed with leukemia in 2003 and been trying to say thank you to the guys that got me in this position ever since. Introduced cycling to raising awareness and raising money back in 2005 and it's just got bigger and bigger and the support for the charity grows. Individually we're asking everybody to raise £30,000. There's a very wide range of ability levels and people from different backgrounds. Everyone's got a story to tell regarding the disease and what we're doing this for and I think that helps everybody to pull through. Cycling is an absolute leveller and you're all equal when you're on that mountain struggling together. Welcome to Copenhagen, the happiest city in the world. Very famous for all its cycle paths. Does create a few problems because there's so many bikes. This could make or break the three weeks. So it's really important that you get through this bit before we start riding for proper tomorrow. I was a little bit nervous, to be honest. It's quite busy today, but it's great to be with the team. I've got this amazing new bike that I've invested in, and it was just great to be on that. The sun was shining, the students were celebrating graduation, which was good to see. The camaraderie is great. There's a real bond, I think, already forming with a, with a team. It was a nice stretch of our legs to prepare us for what's to come. Today, Matthew, I'm going to be a... Oh, cut. Today, I'm be mainly riding my bike. <laughs> 202 kilometers. Relatively flat stage. I'm really nervous. The longest I've ever ridden is 180 kilometers before, so day two and it's a new challenge already. Hopefully it'll be nice and cool when we get back out on the bikes, but I'm ready. <laughs> Let's have a safe ride. Let's point out potholes. Let's make sure that we don't take any unnecessary risks. Let's go for a bike ride. Last year's start was brutal, a lot of hills on a flat stage. This time it's been pretty much flat, a couple of very small bumps, and the weather's been great. Today. So it's a great way of getting into the tour. Well, I had an, an off, <laughs> yeah. the shoulder a bit, but we're okay. Yeah. Like having a little bit of a makeover. Really, really hard day's work. <laughs> Ask me again on, on Alp Doez if I feel like getting on a swing, the answer might be no. <laughs> That's going to help overall classification. That's oh, there's an off day tomorrow, it's fine. I had the lead out, by the way, and then Captain America came and sold the show. Give you the first couple of days. Yeah, well, thanks. <laughs> beat, me, beat me tomorrow, we'll see how it goes. Much as 
They like to complain who won on day three, which was me, fair and square. Um, at the end of the day, short of the fun competitions, it's all about getting across the line together and, and raising the money for cure leukemia. That's why we're all here. Guys. I was, I was equal one. Is he, yeah? You're in safe hands with Andy. You'll get around friends. He's, he's doing really well. Doing fantastic. Ever since I started cycling, which is not very long, I've always, always, always had this agony toe. What it feels like is someone has tied an elastic band round the two toes that are next to my pinky toe, and it is so sore. We're going to give this a try. This might not work. I've tried everything, new shoes, insole in, insole out, and just none of it's working. But I saw the physio that's part of the support team and been having acupuncture at night, which I've never had before. It's not something they're going to be able to fix over the next 19 stages that we've got left, but hopefully we can just manage it so that it's not completely agony for the whole time. 10% done. <laughs> Three down, 18 to go. Here we are. The culmination of sort of 12 months prep and some training. <laughs> Unfortunately, my daughter was diagnosed with leukaemia in November 2020. So I was looking for something that would help fund trials because they're massively underfunded with, um, with kids' cancer particularly. These kids, they're being treated with medicine that is 50 years old and the side effects are staggering. Children's Cancer only receives 2% of all funding. That works out to around £700 per kid. Now we spend more than that on a set of wheels. So the real motivation for me is to raise money. I'm trying to raise this million pounds, raising awareness, generating more trials to tr try and find cures. This is my way of being able to pay back. I've got a thing in my stem that relates to live. Uh, so every time I'm having a bad moment, I can kind of look down at that and, and get my head up again and, and, and crack on and get the stage finished, you know. Cure Leukemia is part of building an infrastructure that allows clinical trials to happen. 10, 15 years ago, there wasn't an infrastructure to fast track all this hope. And that's what it is. All these trials are delivering hope to patients that in the past we're told, so we can't do anything else. So what these guys are doing, raising awareness and more importantly, the money, funds more research nurses nationally. The bigger the, the program, the quicker the, the answers are found. So it is crucial that we carry on growing and expanding what we do. There's a mystique about gobbles. In Flanders, they're an essential part of the biggest races. Today, we're riding 11 sectors that are a part of the Paris-Roubaix race. And the single day riders, the one race they want to win is Paris-Roubaix. It's so unpredictable. It's physically and psychologically tough. Basic rule, you're looking for the smoothest path. Actually on the cobbles themselves, that's gonna be on the crown. Then you've got the edges. Now the edges are great because they are smooth and they're dust and gravelly, but the trouble with the edges is there's hidden potholes and suddenly someone flips over because they've gone down a hole. So you've got to be really alert. I'm inside up for the edge again. don't understand it until you're on it. You, you just can't. It's just... It's brutal, mate. Absolutely brutal. Hey, I was a little... Uh, What's that blister? What wound going on in the club? Um, I'll be very happy if I go through the rest of my life never doing it again. I was surprised, you know, we had one person fell off, you know, you know, and that's a group of people who've never seen them before. And, you know, they rode actually surprisingly well. It was really, really interesting to watch, actually. I absolutely loved it. It appealed to my cycling style, which is I have no style when I cycle. It's just brute force and ignorance. Today was just a, a different kind of suffering, flat out in a really big gear, but kind of fun in the same vein as well. 
Tomorrow is, it's the longest stage ever in the Tour de France. We're starting even earlier, it's going to be a longer day because we're adding in 10k, so uh, hey, <laughs> it's, uh, it's just par for the course I think really.